A 17-year-old boy sits in his room alone with toxic levels of cocaine and benzodiazepine coursing through his veins. His body temperature begins to slowly drop lower and lower as he struggles to maintain consciousness. Now at the edge of consciousness, he begins to violently convulse and falls from his bed, smashing into his bedroom wall, alerting his father who's watching TV in the room next door. His father enters the room to see his son, his face a grotesque shade of bluish purple, his body violently shuddering like a fish out of water. He immediately calls 911 and begins to perform CPR. By God's grace, his son is spared and emergency services arrive and stabilize his condition on the way to the hospital. This is a true story of my younger cousin, and sadly a story that does not always end with a life being saved. Is it a fact that in this country it is far too easy for people, even children in this case, to get their hands on drugs? Through my research and personal experience with drug abuse, I have discovered that the war on drugs is a necessary tool in combating drug use and can help to reduce the likelihood of drug abuse and the supply of illegal drugs in the United States. In my last speech, I advocated for putting an end to the war on drugs, citing that it was unjustified and unnecessary, points that I will refute in this speech. I will also contest the idea that on a global scale, the war on drugs has been a complete failure. In my previous speech, I claimed that the war on drugs was unnecessary and unjustified, and I will refute this claim by showing that there is still a need to continue it. After hearing the story of my cousin, and knowing so many others like it, I believe that it is far too easy for people to get their hands on drugs, and that the war on drugs is necessary and justified to eradicate the flow of drugs onto our streets. I would like to share some statistics with you regarding the effectiveness of federal and local police efforts to keep drugs off of the streets and out of people's hands, thereby keeping them out of danger. According to the World Red Drug Report of 2018, a report that tracks the production and seizures of supplies of illegal drugs, over 200 tons, that's 400,000 pounds, or 20 dump truckfuls of cocaine were seized in North America alone. Keeping this enormous amount of cocaine off the streets helps minimize the danger posed by this drug and others like it. The Monitoring the Future survey, which is sponsored by the National Institute of Health, shows that there has been a re relapse in the drug epidemic starting in the mid-90s and continuing to today with around 50% of kids having tried an illegal drug by the time they leave high school. Given this statistic, the continuation of the war on drugs makes sense. And this refutation is important because it is justified by the fact that drug use is still prevalent among youths and young adults. Another point I, will, I made in my last speech was that the war on drugs has been a complete failure on a global level. It is my belief that it is important for me to address and counter this claim because I failed to mention the success of the war on drugs specifically in the country of Colombia. The United States backed the Colombian government, spending $8 billion in aid and 10 years to help the Colombians' effort to eradicate coca fields, arrest traffickers, and battle guerrilla armies like FARC or the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia who use drug trafficking to fund their operations. After the successful campaign, cocaine production has fallen dramatically in Colombia, murder rates have plummeted, and FARC, as of 2017, has brokered peace with the Colombian government. The refutation of this point is significant in showing that the war on drugs led by the United States can be effective in helping countries around the world deal with the problem posed by illegal drugs. In conclusion, the war on drugs remains a necessary and justified method of helping to combat drug use, distribution, and production not only here at home, but around the world. It helps keep drugs off the streets and out of the hands of people where they pose the greatest danger. The war on drugs needs to continue to prevent more stories like the one of my cousin, who barely escaped with his life, and to help countries like Colombia reclaim safety and security for its citizens. It has not been always butterflies and rainbows with the war on drugs, but as you know, there is so much more work to be done, which is why we must keep fighting the good fight.